Welcome to my assessment presentation. Part 1, Essay. The first task was to write an essay that breaks down my comprehensive self-promotion plan. The first involved explaining my primary and secondary goals and how these are attained. This was done by taking quantitative data from Jobsite Indeed. With this information, I produced graphs to show which qualities and skills I should have. Next was to understand the persona for my target audience, so I can target my promotional material to the right people and reduce waste. Third was to develop a central message or slogan to catch potential clients' attention. Following on from this, I had to work out which promotional methods would suit me best, and finally design a calendar and a budget for my future promotional self. Here is the final essay. Part 2. Resume Part A demanded I create a brochure resume that also functions as a poster. The first stage of this was to develop a brand guide. By completing this, I had multiple typefaces and a colour scheme now arranged. After that, I researched on websites like Behance and drafted ideations for my brochure until I managed to complete my brochure design. The final product is dynamic and follows the brand aesthetic. Part B had me redesigning my resume to be fit for HTML and mobile screens. For this stage, I already had the example from my brochure, so I developed the ideations from that, altering them for different dimensions. Part C was to create a two minute video resume using similar material. First, I created the script, which I then used to narrate over my video. Included are two screenshots of scenes in my video resume. Part 3, Blog Part A was to write a compelling blog article about my personal view on something in design. After spending some time debating different areas or opinions, I finally decided on simple logos are all the rave. This article breaks down why, this, why it's beneficial and provides examples of famous brands changing. Next was to design a blog article that will be placed on my website. This design therefore has to follow my brand guidelines and aesthetic. Therefore, the same dynamic appearance as seen in my resumes was included. Involved in the article had to be an image of my own creation, which can be seen with the logo text behind the title. The logo text is in between guides to express the idea of logo creation. Part C involves creating a cinemagraph out of my own image from the blog. For this, I used trim paths to create the randomised line movement of the grid lines behind the text. Part D, I had to select a paper fold that I could promote my blog on. I selected the bold form fold, which angled the page inwards. However, the blog needed redesigning to accompany the new shape. This benefited my work as the angled corners pointed towards my blog. Here is the blog in situ. Part 4, Original Artwork Finally, I was left with the task of creating original artwork and having it printed on a physical product. For this task, I had an idea of what I wanted to, to do, so I set about sketching. After selecting my design, I set about testing the typography underneath and followed with colour scheme tests and design variations. Eventually, I came to the final design, which is simple but eye-catching. Here is the design printed on a small women's t-shirt. Thank you for watching.